This is an Ohishi 8000 grit sharpening stone. It is made by Imanishi. I know Lee Nielsen Toolwork sells these. I know a few other companies sell these. They've been, over the years, pretty popular with woodworkers. I got introduced to these when I first bought an Ohishi. I was looking for a Splash and Go 1000, and I bought an Ohishi 1000-8000 combo off of a woodworker. And I, I liked that 1000 so much, I ended up buying the full thickness 1000. That's <clears throat> that's a great stone for the money, the 1000. The 8000 is really good as well. It leaves an edge very far along. Like, if you're using this for a razor, provided you set the bevel well and you've gone through your grits and you get up to this, you could either use this as your bridge to a natural finisher, or if you wanted to, you could use this as your bridge to even something like pasted straw or even a finer finisher, like a 12. And no problem. No problem. This leaves a very refined edge in its wake. All the Ohishi stones, as far as I know, are rated as splash and go. My experience with these, it's more, you get them a little saturated. You don't soak them, but you get them a bit saturated. It'll take on a little water, and then it'll hold it. And then it'll stay on the surface quite, quite readily. So, it loads up. It doesn't take too long to load up. We're not talking like a long, we're just talking about throwing some water on the surface, letting it sort of get in there, and then you get to throw some more water on it, it'll stay on top. So I suppose it is sort of splash and go, and it doesn't take too long to dry either. I left this thing tonight, and it's bone dry, and that was only like, I want to say 20 minutes ago. This one was never used, but when I got it, it was not... I don't think it was stored well. It was bought. Yeah, I was sold to me by somebody I think who just um, liquidates product, and I think it was not stored in the greatest of ways. So it had a little ding on the corner. I rolled out of it, and since there were other little nicks and dings, I just lapped it. And it wasn't that far out from the factory. It just had a little bit of a, just had little waves here and there, and little impressions, and I just lapped them out and. Polish the surface to 1000 and it's good to go. Really nice stone though. Really nice stone. I just have so many high grit synths for once in my life. I don't have any place or something like this right now because right now I have the Naniwa Pro, I have the Shafton Pro. I have one of these bound to a 1K, but I still have one of these and I, it still has most of its thickness so. It is redundant material for me anyway. This particular stone is 8 and 3 30 seconds of an inch long by 2 and 15 sixteenths of an inch wide by 1 inch thick. Sort of an old school 1K. I don't know if this is the same stone as the Kitayama. Just rebranded. I really don't know. But it's made by the same company, and it is yellow, and it is 8K, but I'm not sure. Maybe not. Maybe it's a different formulation. But anyway. Might as well zoom into the surface before I go. Sort of an old school looking 8,000 grit stone. And that's what it sort of feels like under the blade, but it does a very good job. I like these stones. And that's about all I have to say about that. The Ohishi 8000 grit synthetic water stone. Thank you.